Hi, I'm Max Whitlock, and here's my top mobility and stretching exercises for you to try. So the first stretch, nice easy one, literally sitting down. One of the first things you want to do after a workout is sit down and have a rest, but why not sit down and have a quick stretch? So if you're just leaning forwards, trying to keep your back straight. So if you can see it from there, trying to keep your back straight, so not dished over like this, but as straight as possible, just leaning forwards and trying to walk your fingers as far as you can until you're nearly flat on the floor. But just go as far as you can until you feel the stretch underneath your legs. And you can also move to one side of the leg, take that foot to change the intensity where it stretches in the specific muscles that you're stretching. And same on the other leg. Now laying on your back. And same, another one for the back, backs of your legs. And just literally relaxing there and flexing your feet. So bringing your toes down like that. You'll feel a massive stretch just in the backs of your legs. Now for a lot of my stretches, I like to do literally like what I call lazy stretches. After a hard workout, most people, they forget about stretching and they don't want to stretch. So it's easy to just kind of pick up some lazy stretches that you can do to help you feel better the next day. And then bringing your foot towards your chest and again, just feeling where you feel is really stretching the most, just bringing it closer to your chest and you'll feel that stretch in the glutes area. And find that position and just hold it. Same on the other leg. Just bringing it close and again, moving it around to get the right stretch. Now up like this and stretching your calves, your lower legs, just really trying to push out and find that where it's really stretching that muscle. And hold that position. And same on the other side. Now, if you obviously worked your core, support to stretch your abs out. So back down onto the floor, this position here, just really trying to extend your ab muscles out as much as possible. If you've done a really hard kind of ab workout, you'll feel that massively. And just slowly turn into each side, just to get that stretch in, in all the areas that you need to. Now standing up, your back is always important not to forget as well. So a nice easy one to stretch your back out and, your, and the sides of your back is standing up nice and straight, make, making sure you're not leaning forwards or leaning back. Is literally drop one side just let your hand run down the side of your leg and you'll feel that throughout the whole other side of what you'll be stretching there. And just go as low as you can and hold that position. And then up and then same on the other side. So get something to lean on. This is ideal, but I think stretching out your shoulders and your upper body, just lean onto this side set and just really trying to go as low as you can, getting your armpits to the floor as close as you possibly can and trying to really extend through that position. Dropping your head will make it even more intense as well. This will really kind of stretch out your upper body, your shoulders and your, your upper back as well. And if again, if you move to the side and drag out, you're gonna really kind of feel the stretching change to kind of move down to the side and all your lats as well. Can also turn around, holding onto the bar. Try if you get your hands closer, that makes it more intense. So the wider your hands, the easier it is. And just slowly, like make sure you've got straight arms and try and extend your chest out. And just slowly walk forwards. And you'll feel that stretch massively in your shoulders. It's a really good stretch. And just hold that position. Don't push it too far, just go where you feel the stretching and hold it there. So taking any elastic or anything like this, uh, basic tricep stretch. This can kind of help you really get that stretch out. Trying to spin around, trying to literally pull the band as low as you can and really feel that stretch in your triceps. And same on the other side. Just putting it as low as you can and holding that position. 
Again, what you can do with these is taking the band behind your back. Again, the wider you go, the easier it is. But be careful with this exercise. As you come up, you can really rotate your shoulders. Again, this will take a long time to kind of master and to practice it. But again, just go as far as you can. It might just be to there, that's your limit. And just take it up and down and you'll feel the stretch going. Um, and like I said, the wider you go, the easier you're gonna find to go all the way to the top and back down. It's kind of what a lot of young gymnasts do when they're kind of building that mobility in their shoulders as a youngster. So this shoulder stretch is a bit more of a, a level up. And obviously we'll take a bit of practice to get into the stretch, but come around and just relax in there, hanging on the bar, relaxing really through your shoulders and you'll feel that stretch massively. Now it's obviously gonna really help in terms of shoulder abilities, a lot of gymnasts do that stretch, but in terms of lifting weights above your head, in terms of holding different various of weights in CrossFit, any type of fitness, it's gonna help you massively. A real gymnastics exercise, um, but can provide so many benefits for a lot of people is splits. So if you start on your knees, you take one leg out in front of you, and it's really important to make sure your hips are always square, so no twisting either way, and just literally just hands on the floor and take your leg out as far as it can go in front and just lower into that splits position. Like I said, making sure your hips are massively square and just go as far as you can. And with this, you'll feel the stretch under the front leg also in your hips area as well, which is obviously massive important in a lot of exercises for a lot of different fitness workouts. And come back up, and then the same on the other leg. So on your knees, making sure your hips are square, and just sliding, sliding forward into that split position. So give some of those stretches a go, see how you find them, see if you can do most of them. Um, but like I said, stretching at the end of a workout is sometimes people's worst nightmare. They can't be bothered with it, it's a bit of a nuisance. I cannot express enough how important stretching is, mobility is, flexibility is, to help you feel better the next day. I stretch before every session, and more importantly, after every single session. Just five, 10 minutes goes a very, very long way. If you've got any more questions about any of the exercises or anything else, just hit them in the comments below.